Hi, welcome back to Cloud Security. Today we're going to look at registering our IP address with a free DNS server and hopefully we'll get around to installing an SSL certificate. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, we're going to look at Duck DNS. Now what is DNS? DNS allows you to, instead of typing an IP address every time you want to access your system, you can go through and type a web address, right? You can type like www.mydomain.com and then get to your stuff. Well, that usually costs money because you usually need to register a domain name. So for this, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here and use Duck DNS and we're going to sign in and allow duckdns.org to be our domain and then we will have our own host. So now given it won't be nice and like www dot, but it will be a host that DNS recognizes and we can use an Amazon. If just in case you've forgotten, do not shut down your machine on Amazon or you will lose your IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and click over here and sign in with Google. So that's right up there in the top. So if you see that sign in with Google, so go ahead and click there and let's create an account. Okay, once you've signed in, you have a choice to create a subdomain here. So a subdomain.duckdns.org. And we can try to add that in there and give an IP to it. So we can actually give that a shot. Try to go ahead and pop in whatever you want with duckdns.org. And we'll see if we can assign that with our Amazon image. And you can imagine that it will probably have a lot of things that are already taken. So I'm going to try cloud.duck and I'm going to add and I'll probably say like, nope, sorry, it's it's used. So I'll say cloud 2024 like this and add and we'll see that one is already taken by another user as well. And we're going to have to go through and find something that is not taken. Now we can just use some letters and numbers and things like that, but realize that a lot of people are using this free service and they're using it automatically. So you may have to switch through a few times to find that to avoid getting other names taken. Okay, so I was able to enter this class, CYB690 there, and it says the current IP, which is pulling down my Geneva IP, and I don't need that. So I need to put in my actual Amazon IP. So let's go ahead and type in, remember when you create yours, Type in your IP address, not my IP address. <laughs> Please use your own IP address. That would be bad for you to use mine. I should mention, if you don't know what your IP address is, you can go over to EC2 um, at Amazon there through the Elastic Compute Cloud, and that is our IP address, my IP address right there. So that's there. You can go to the Elastic Compute Cloud and find it, um, but I've typed in my, my web address there and that's mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in. Now given it's not dashes, we don't want dashes in our address. So where we have those uh, dashes like that, we want to change those to dots. Like that. And yes, that is my public IP address at Amazon. So you, you can see that right there and connect to it or whatever. Um, but we're using this as just instructional. So there we go. We've got that 18 there. Let me make sure there's no space in front of the one. Good. I'm going to say update IP. And it says that the IP address has been updated to this. So let's try it. That's cyb690.dns.org. Let's see if that works. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to say copy. And we know that this works right here. So I can go over that. That's cyb690. I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to see if, look at that, now we have, or now whatever your domain is, you have a working domain, which is actually not a domain, it's not a subdomain really, it's it's actually a host record, it's not a subdomain, it is a host record, in this case, it is a host A record, or a host address record, because it's IPv4. Uh, but, it works, and that's what's important here is cyb690.duckdns.org came up with hello world if I go over and edit my uh, my system over here and I'll just make this 
that. And I'll go over to uh, var dub HTML and see that hello where I've got this index. I'll go over here to index.html. Instead of hello world, I'm going to put hello world 2024 when I'm doing this and save that. Now, if I go back over to hello world here and refresh, then you will see my new address come up right there. My new index.html come up right there. So we know that this is going to my site, not just some random hello world site. Once you get there, then we're going to start working on our cert. That's our SSL certificate. And we're going to be getting it from CertBot. So let's go ahead and get that done. And then we're going to switch over to CertBot. Oh, I should mention, there are some other free DNS providers out there. There's free uh, afraid.org, so freedns.afraid.org. Uh, there's one there. And for DuckDNS, we have a web interface, so we can just go through and update our stuff in the web interface. Uh, but if your IP address just change, you can go back over to DuckDNS and update it. You can also create a script that will automatically update duckdns.org. I want to remind you that this is a one year free image from Amazon. So if you go beyond a year, Amazon will start charging you for this image. Uh, we're talking about the virtual machine that we're running. So just keep that in mind. Now I'm going to go back over and we're going to look at how to get a certificate or how to enable SSL on our site. You'll notice that this uh, site right here is not secure. So. It is not a secure site. And if we try to go to a secure site, HPS colon slash slash like this, then it's just going to die because port 443 is not available. So we need to do that right now. We need to get this working. And let's see if we can do that without changing DNS records because I'm going to try to leave duck DNS out of this as much as possible. We're going to try to do this all locally on our host. So let's see. I'm going to go clear right there let's see what we can do to make this happen okay one of the things that we might try is to actually put the certbot uh, challenge response in our directory here i'm going to try this i'm just going to see if uh if certbot will let me run through this process let's let's see if we can get there so this is real time this is not paused or anything at this point and now uh, we are trying to go through here and get this to work. Okay, there we go. And it says successfully, so to be saved at the Etsy Let's Encrypt Live right there, full chain. And the key is right there at the, the private key. Yeah. It's gonna expire in three months, at 818 and these files will be updated when the certificate renews. It worked great. So uh, mine worked right there. So I can now, well, you would think that I can now go over and access it via HTTPS. However, we've not told Apache to use that yet. Let's see if CertBot can update Apache. Here, I'm going to see if we can just add a dash dash Apache to this and see if that will work. Okay, it's like, no. Let's just see if we can do this. The cert bot cert only Apache. Okay, Apache plugin does not seem to be installed, and this is one of those things that we can go in and try to figure out with CertBot or uh, we can just change it ourselves. First thing we'll do is see if CertBot has anything you can do right there. And Apache plugin does not appear to be installed. So let's go ahead and install the, um, the plugin there and see if that Python CertBot Apache works or and we'll see if there's a Python 3 etc. We'll run through it and see what's there. All right. It seems like there's a Python 3 certbot option for Apache, which I can go through and just do Python 3 certbot and see what kind of options we have here. And you can see they've got a couple DNS options that they, they provide there. Uh, 
but we're just going to leave that with Apache. And we're going to try this Surf Bot Apache again. Oh, in this case, it may be, uh, may be trying to go back and find our domain name. We don't want to do that. We, Well, we could, but we want this to be as automated as possible. So we'll click through here, and we're just excited that this worked uh, with DuckDNS. So we'll just go through and try this. Keep the existing certificate for now. Yes, we would like to keep that. Okay, so let's take out the cert only option there. It seemed to work okay. So we're going to do this without the cert only option. This is an attempt to reinstall this existing certificate. One. And it says it did successfully deployed certificate four to that directory. That right there, if we go through and cat this, we will see that it has put the full chain PIM and the private key PIM in there. And it does uh, include this file right there for the options. So you can see the options that we have. So let me go through back and, and do a history there so we can see kind of what we did. And uh, right over here on the history, we'll, uh, we'll do a history and I'll just do a tail right there so we can kind of get it. We went through and we tried to get CertBot, you know, to, to give us our stuff. We did the Cert only, which I bet what you can do is a CertBot, um, let's see, bet what you can do is do a CertBot with Apache and WebRoot. You know what? I don't think it allows you to do a WebRoot. All of this is because we're trying to avoid updating our TXT record inside DNS. So we're just trying to avoid updating TXT records. And um, that's why we're having to jump through all these hoops. So in any case, all you'll have to do is uh, go through, grab this one, and I'll put this in our, in our notes. So you do that one right there to get whatever your, don't put my domain in there but your domain, not mine. Uh, so go ahead and grab that. And then the last one we do, which is this, right there, those two commands, those are the only two commands that you're gonna need to run after you get the, the cert bot stuff on your system, which I guess we should put that on there too. We should say, you need to app get this. Like that, and if you don't have certbot, we'll need to app get certbot, and so that would be the app get install certbot right there, and that would give you what you need um, for that. So I'll do a tail, and we'll grab. I'm sorry, do a history, and we'll grab uh, triple pound. No, it's not gonna like that. I'll just do a tail dash five. Okay, <laughs> dash seven. So now we've got those four right there. I'll th throw those in the description, and that way you can see how to get the uh, the cert bot on your system. So what have we done? Well, we go over here and we do a service, Apache 2, restart, just like this. And once we do that, we can go back over and try again to HTTPS, and look at that. We now have a real certificate running on our website. It is fully operational with the new name there, that duckdns.org. And this one's called cyb90.duckdns.org. If you want to call yours like cyb90a, 90b, 90c, that is totally fine. I would not mind at all. Uh, this is, of course, just a demonstration. Uh, or if you want to create yours at, as being some kind of like um, your name.duckdns.org, you could do that. This is yours. So it's up to you, whatever you'd like to do with it. Uh, but that's the uh, duck DNS right there. Go and update it. If you if you change your IP address in Amazon, that means if you shut down your machine and restart it, then you will need to change your IP address there. So just to recap, we installed DNS, and well, I mean, we went and configured DNS over at duckdns.org, and then we went and got an SSL certificate from CertBot. 
worked great, worked flawlessly with our web servers. And so we can now move forward with the next step, which will be installing some type of web framework on our web server. I hope that you're enjoying this and that it's uh, and that you're making great progress. And I look forward to talking to you in another week.